Hello students, let us continue the session on mensuration. You can remember in the previous session, I had given you a question to find the perimeter of this figure. You all must know that perimeter is nothing but the sum of all sides. Here, let's do by counting 4 cm how many are there, I'll encircle that. Totally there are 4, 4 cm, so 4 times of 4 cm plus how many 1 cm are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 cm are there. So 4 times of 1 cm plus how many 3 cm are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, totally 8, 3 centimeters are there plus how many 2 centimeters are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, there are 4, 2 centimeters. So let's find the product and add them 16 centimeter plus 4 centimeter plus 24 centimeter plus 8 centimeter. In total, the, uh, the perimeter is 52 centimeter. Let's solve the second question. The lid of a rectangular box of side 40 centimeter by 10 centimeter is sealed all around with tape. What is the length of the tape required? Here you must understand that whenever the question is like this, the length of the tape will be equal to the perimeter. So here it is rectangle, so the perimeter of rectangle. Perimeter of rectangle is given by 2 times of length plus breadth. Here they have mentioned the length to be 40 and the width or the breadth is 10. Totally we get it as 100 centimeters. Here you must understand whenever they mention the dimension like this 40 centimeter by 10 centimeter it's nothing but length by breadth. So length is taken as 40 centimeter and breadth is taken as 10 centimeter. Third question the table top measures 2 meter 25 centimeter by 1 meter 50 centimeter what is the perimeter of the table top here the length of the table top is 2 meter 25 centimeter it is nothing but 2.25 meters if i am converted in terms of meter and the same way the breadth will be 1 meter 50 centimeter nothing but 1.50 meters so the perimeter is two times of length plus breadth here the length is 2.25 plus the breadth is 1.50 so it is two times of add them we get 3.75 multiply them we get 7.5 and it's in terms of meter. So the perimeter of the tabletop is 7.5 meters. Question number 4. What is the length of the wooden strip required to frame a photograph of length and breadth 32 cm and 21 cm respectively? Here the required length of wooden strip will be equal to perimeter of photograph and the photograph will be in rectangular shape so I need to consider two times of length plus breadth since they have given the length to be 32 and the breadth to be 21, I will add them. This will be 2 times 53. 
nothing but 106 centimeter this will be the length of the wooden strip question number five a rectangular piece of land measures 0 0.7 kilometer by 0 0.5 kilometer each side is to be fenced with four rows of wire what is the length of wire required or wire needed here i need to find out the perimeter because fencing is done around the field isn't it so perimeter of the land will be equal to two times of length plus breadth here 0 0.7 kilometer plus 0.5 kilometer to be added up we get two times of 1.2 which is 2.4 kilometer they have mentioned that each side is to be fenced with four rows so it is four times of 2.4 nothing but 9.6 kilometer therefore the length of the wire required will be 9.6 kilometers question number six find the perimeter of each of the following shapes first one is a rectangle sorry triangle of side 3 cm, 4 cm and 5 cm. Remember, perimeter is sum of all the sides. For a triangle, there are 3 sides. Hence, those sides are to be added up. So, the perimeter of triangle is 3 to be added to 4 to be added to 5. We get it as 12 cm. For the equilateral triangle, all sides are equal. So, the perimeter of equilateral triangle will be 3 times side. And they have mentioned the side to be 9 cm. So, 3 times of 9 which is 27 cm. The third one, it's an isosceles triangle with equal sides 8 cm and the third side is 6 cm. So the perimeter will be perimeter of isosceles triangle will be equal sides are 8. So 2 times have taken, third side is 6. Adding up, we get 22 cm. Question 7. Find the perimeter of a triangle with sides measuring 10 cm, 14 cm and 15 cm. Very simple. Perimeter is sum of all the sides. So for this triangle, the sides are 10 cm plus 14 cm plus 15 cm. Together it is 39 cm. Question 8. Find the perimeter of a regular hexagon with each side measuring 8 meters. You should know the meaning of regular hexagon. A regular hexagon has got 6 equal sides. So regular hexagon has 6 equal sides. Therefore, perimeter will be equal to 6 times 8 which is 48 meters question number 9 find the side of the square whose perimeter is 40 meters if a square has got the side as a units then perimeter will be 4 times a and they have given perimeter as 20 so 20 is equal to 4 times a 
So A will be equal to 20 upon 4, we get it as 5 meters. Since it is there in terms of meter, the side of the square will be 5 meter. Therefore, side of square equal to 5 meters. Question number 10. Perimeter of a regular pentagon is 100 centimeter. How long is its each side? Let me consider the length of each side as a centimeter. Then its perimeter will be 5 times a because in a regular pentagon there will be 5 equal sides. So 5 times a is equal to 100, a will be equal to 100 upon 5, we get the value of a as 20 centimeter. Therefore, side of the regular pentagon is 20 centimeter. Question number 11, a piece of string is 30 centimeter long. What will be the length of each side of the string if the string is used for making a square or an equilateral triangle for a regular hexagon? Let us solve one by one. First one is, we need to find perimeter of square. Perimeter of square is 30 centimeter because 30 centimeter is the length of the string. If a square is made, four times of side will be equal to 30 centimeter. So the side can be found, side will be 30 upon 4, which is 7.5 centimeter. B. Now it is used, the string is used for making an equilateral triangle. So perimeter of equilateral triangle is 30 centimeter. Equilateral triangle will be having three equal sides. So the perimeter is three times the side side can be found as 30 upon 3 which is 10 centimeter for making a regular hexagon perimeter of regular hexagon equal to 30 centimeter a regular hexagon will be having six times side as the perimeter so the side will be equal to 5 centimeter, 30 upon 6 is 5 centimeter. Question number 12. Two sides of a triangle are 12 centimeter and 14 centimeter and its perimeter is 36 centimeter. What is the length of the third side? Let me consider, let x centimeter be the third side. then perimeter will be equal to 36 centimeter instead of perimeter i'll add all the sides 12 plus 14 plus 6 is equal to 36 centimeter so the value of x will be 36 minus the sum of this which is 26 so x will be equal to 10 centimeter question number 13 find the cost of fencing a square part of side 250 meter at the rate of rupees 20 per meter. Here, the side of the square is given. Side of square is 250 meters. To find the cost of fencing, first I have to find the length of the fence that is nothing but 
perimeter of square. So the perimeter of square is four times the side. So it is four times 250, which will be 1000 meters. Therefore, the cost of fencing will be equal to 1000 multiplied to rupees 20 we get it as rupees 20,000 question number 14 find the cost of fencing a rectangular part of length 175 meter and breadth 125 meter at the rate of rupees 12 per meter as we have done earlier we have to do in the same method to find the perimeter of rectangular part <clears throat> i have to use two times of length plus breadth they have given the length as well as the breadth 175 plus 125 the total of 175 125 is 300 so 2 times of 300 will be 600 meters this is the length of the fence now i have to find the cost so cost of fencing will be rupees 12 multiplied to 600 we get it as rupees 7200 Question number 15. Sweetie runs around a square park of side 75 meter. Bulbul runs around a rectangular park of length 60 meter and the breadth 45 meter. Who covers the less distance? For both the cases, we need to find perimeter. So, perimeter of square will be equal to 4 times side that is 4 times of 75 this will be 300 meter therefore the distance covered by sweetie is 300 meter now I need to find the perimeter of rectangular part. So perimeter of rectangle is four times, sorry, two times length plus breadth. They have mentioned the length as 60 meter and the breadth as 45 meter. The sum of 60 plus 45 is 105. So two times of 105 is 210 meters therefore the distance covered by bulbul is 210 meter therefore bulbul covers less distance Than sweetie. <clears throat> Question number 16. What is the perimeter of each of the following figures? What do you infer from the answer? Look at the first figure here. All the sides are equal. So it's a square. The perimeter of square is. Four times the side that is 4 times 25 which will be 100 centimeter perimeter of rectangle is 2 times of length plus breadth here it is 2 times of 40 plus 10 we get 100, 100 centimeter 
What do you infer from the answers? We infer that perimeter of both the figures are same. Let us look at next two figures. What will be perimeter of this rectangle? Perimeter is 2 times of length plus breadth here. It is 2 times of 30 plus 20. Again, we get 2 times of 50, which is 100 centimeter. For this triangle, perimeter is the sum of all sides 30 plus 30 plus 40, which is 100 centimeter. In these two figures also, perimeter are same. Therefore, all the figures, all figures A, B, C and D have same perimeter. This is what we infer from the answer. Question number 17, this is the last question of the exercise. Aunit buys 9 square paving slabs each with the side of half meter, he lays them in the form of a square. What is the perimeter of his arrangement in the figure 10.7 first one? This figure, I will just shade this. This is nothing but a square. The reason is it is covering three boxes towards column as well as the rows. So, perimeter is four times the side. So, it is four times of one by two, which is 2 meters. Sorry, there's little confusion here. Let me clarify that. You should not consider in this way. Here, as per the question, they have given that he is paving a slab each width half meter. So from year to year, it is half meter plus half meter plus half meter. So the side will be three times of one by two, which is 3 by 2 meters. Now we should find the perimeter as 4 times of the side. We get it as 6 meters. So 6 meter is the perimeter. Shari does not like this arrangement. First one. She gets him to lay them, lay them as like a cross. What is the perimeter of her arrangement in the figure? 7, 10.7 second one. This will be the arrangement. Here, here it is half. From here to here it is half plus half. This is half. So half plus one plus one plus half plus one. So let me write that. Perimeter will be 0 0.5 plus one plus one plus 0 0.5 plus one plus one plus 0.5 plus 1 plus 1 and the total you will get it as 10 meters. Consider both of them which arrangement has got a greater perimeter the arrangement of arrangement in the form of cross is having a larger perimeter or greater peri perimeter. Avnit wonders if there is a way of getting an even 
greater perimeter can you find a way of doing this the paving slabs must meet along complete edges that is they cannot be broken here perimeter greater than 10 meter cannot be determined because they have clearly mentioned that they cannot be broken because they cannot be broken the slabs cannot be broken with this i'll complete today's session we shall solve the next exercise questions in the next session thank you